All right, homesteader family. So, I'm out here at Peaceful Valley Ranch. This is day two after I got the front tire of the skid steer fixed. And I'll show you what I got done. I got the dam basically all complete. So check that out. It's about 15 foot wide or so. And I'll come right back and I'll show you the other view of the camera. All right, we're back. So this is the dam. I got it done. I moved the duck house over here, built the dam all up. You can see the tractor's been back and forth, back and forth on top of this all day uh, as I've been building it. So it's nice and solid. If a 14,000 pound machine can sit on this without going down there, I think we're in good shape. So basically, I did it fill in over here where this dip is. You can see the shadow shows the dip. And it goes from there and comes around, comes around and comes here. So what I'm gonna do is the concrete that I have at the house that I haven't brought over, I'm gonna bring over um, a messed up two by four that I have that's all weathered and stuff. Lay the two by four along the dirt here, pour the concrete all the way out to here. And I'll take a trowel and go down and down into a V. So it's a uh, better flow. And then over here at the end, I'm going to put a piece of uh, four inch PVC pipe into the concrete. Um, partially in the concrete, three quarters of it's going to be open. So that V comes right in and it flows. And if there's an overflow past the four inch pipe, if there's more water than the four inch pipe, then it will be able to go over top. But what I'm going to do with the four inch pipe for now is I'm going to take it out and have it come out like five six feet so it doesn't eat this dirt away and um, I'm gonna have to get some more concrete I'll probably get another five or ten bags next month out of my money and that's about all I can do uh, next month but that will at least get me out to here with the concrete or maybe a little bit farther and then that way I can uh, go ahead and start stacking cinder blocks down and uh, if it overflows, it won't eat the dam away like it did the last time. So, as you saw, here's the culvert right there. It's still flowing. I smushed it down a little bit and flattened it out so more water can leave the pond. Because it was getting ready to go in the overflow again. Because it rained real bad earlier. But you can see, there's that. And... The end was about like right here. It was at like two feet of space and everything just dropped and went out. And you can see I've got a nice huge area. Like I say, it's like 15 feet maybe, maybe a little bigger. I'm not sure I haven't measured it, but I could probably fit my truck sideways in here. You look at my truck, I mean, you come down, you can see it's a lot wider than where my truck is if you just scoot it my truck this way so you can see the geese are all happy the ducks are all happy swimming around we got a couple of them way down there hanging out around the tree we got papa duck right there showing off so this is what i got done today i got all the dam work done so the dam doesn't need anything else done to it it's all set Eventually, what I think I might do is I might get a uh, play sand, cover this in play sand because uh, right around this edge, it's pretty shallow and gradual going in. So I might pour some sand in there and make this like a waterfront beach to go into. And then I'm thinking off of that corner there, I'm going to go diagonal and uh, build a dock eventually. eventually. I think I have... Uh, some scrap wood that I might do a temporary dock for the moment. So we'll find out what goes on. But anyhow, have a good night guys. I'll talk to you guys later. Live happy, live free. That's the only way to be.